everyone, this is Uzumachi speaking, and I welcome you to my new Let's Play while I handle the other one. You know the drill. Uh, I decided to do this uh, short game, so it really won't take that long for me to finish it. And uh, it's a bit different from anything that I've done before. It's one of those type of games that you focus a lot on the dialogue and... Uh, and develop the story as you go. It's not really a, a game that you shoot or kill stuff. So, uh, I guess uh, you should give it a chance. It's really good. Uh, the story is really interesting. And, uh, yeah. So, let's just begin this. I already finished it before, uh, like a few months ago. And, uh, finding an, uh, an English version is a little bit impossible. Uh, you need to download the subtitles in English. So it's one of those games that you can't find very easily. And it took a while for me to find a translation, so... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's originally in Japanese. It all started on that one night three years ago. See him anywhere? Nope. Not yet. He's bound to be out here somewhere, though. I was being followed. This isn't looking good. Oh, great. They're coming this way. I held my breath, careful not to make the least bit of noise, but then... I accidentally knocked over a soda can. Hey, you! Oh, no. They found me. He's trying to get away! Quick! After him! I ran and ran, but the men relentlessly followed me in hot pursuit. Hoping to lose them, I darted around a nearby corner. However, a man was there, blocking my path. Whoa! What's the hurry, son? Uh, um... Caught completely off guard, I found myself just standing there as the two men caught up with me. You! Why were you running from us? We'll be having your name and address now, young man. It was only then that I realized that the two men were police officers. What seems to be the pro the matter here? Uh? And just who might you be? Do you know this young man? No, but... This boy was especially wandering around here late at night. When we called out to him, he fled. We had no choice but to pursue. Okay, Sonny. What do you say we take a little trip downtown? Just one minute, please, officers. I really I realize this may may sound sudden, but it would be too much to ask to let me handle this matter. What? And just who do you think you are? While still in the police business like this. Wait a second. Isn't that the precedent? Uh, no. <laughs> I just thought I'd ask him a few questions. Nothing more. That wouldn't be too much to ask, would it? Uh, no, of course not, sir. We'll be going now. Have a good night, sir. The officers left. Uh, thanks, mister. No, no. There's no need to thank me. But hey, you look thirsty. What do you say we go get something to drink? Huh? Uh, okay. It's a little laggy, but it's something that I can't fix. I went with the man to a small coffee house. 
So, you've set out on a mission to find your long-lost parents. Very commendable of you. However, I couldn't help but to wonder. How are you doing? Is, very, is everything okay? Uh, <clears throat> it's alright. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But if you don't mind, a mind me my asking, where do you plan to go from here? You have a place to stay, don't you? Uh, <laughs> so here's how the game works. You just uh, you either think or check around or ask. That's how it goes. So let me think first. Who is this guy? Can I trust him? That's it. And you check the vicinity. It's a typical looking coffee shop. You can check him, man. He's a stylish sort of guy. Maybe about 30 or so. Now let's ask about... Uh, man, let's ask. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> so let's ask about yourself. So, you're 15 years old. Just run, just out of junior high school, and you're on your own. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing you bring back brings back memories of who I used to be. I can't just leave you like this. I know this is sudden, but if you don't have anywhere else to go, you can stay with me if you like. think again, if you like. It's remarkable how much of myself I see in you. Who is this guy? Can I trust him? <laughs> he keeps asking, thinking the same thing. I don't even know your name. I'm Sh Shunsuke Utsugi. I'm a private detective. Really? Yes. Well, I'm sure you'll know you'll do what's best for you, but like I said, if you're in need, I can put you up for the night. <clears throat> so now we know a little more more about him. The police seem to respect him. He doesn't seem like a bad guy either. I guess it wouldn't hurt for for the time being. <clears throat> well, for tonight, I suppose. Alright, it's settled then. Shall we go? It's getting late. By the way, what's your name? Here's where you choose uh, your name. I'm gonna name him a weird name. Uh, Uzi. <laughs> now we need a last name. Uh, hmm. How about... J I N Uzi Jin. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird name. Oh, I'm Uzi Jin. Okay then, Mr. Jin. It's a pleasure to meet you. And that's how I came to know Detective Utsugi. Before long, he took me in, and I started to train as his prodigy. Pro pro whatever. <laughs> it seems like a good move, since I figured it would probably help me find my parents. <clears throat> as Utsugi's right-hand man, my job was to help up with the with whatever he needed to be done. However, one day, something terrible happened. I never thought I'd ever encounter, encounter such a dreadful, terrifying event. It's something I'll never forget. And that's where it begins. <coughs> Creepy game! There's a, lot, a mix of, of a lot of things. Wandering alone throughout school hall, one evening you suddenly hear someone call out for you from behind. Glancing over your shoulder, you see nothing but a lonesome, a lonesome girl standing then in solitude, with a terrifying look of urgency in her eyes. This is basically what the game revolves around, but there's a bigger mystery behind everything. 
Famicom Detective Club Part 2. And no, I cannot find Part 1. Ever. <laughs> Doesn't matter how hard I look, it just can't find it. The girl in back. Creepy music! Yeah. So this is uh, the game, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Uzi has been staying with Detective Utsugi for a few months now. During this time, he has faithfully worked by Utsugi's side, an ever-watchful trainee. However, one day, a phone call is taken at the Utsugi Detective Agency. Something dreadful has happened. Hey boss, it's the police. There's been an incident. Okay, let them know we'll be down shortly. Chapter 1, Tragedy. There's a few chapters, uh, I think it's like 6 or 7. Not really sure, I can't remember. As Utsugi and Uzi arrive at the scene, they realize the police have already secured the area. Good day, Detective Jin. Yeah, respect me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, can think what could have happened here. Well, first things first, I should probably gather some information. Ask the victim. The victim was a local high school student. Her body was washed up to the riverbank this morning. Cause of death. The body was discovered some time ago, but unfortunately, we're still unsure of what happened. Uh, time of death? We still don't know much at this point. An estimation is impossible with this little information. Okay, how about insights? She looks so innocent. She couldn't have been much older than you. <laughs> this guy doesn't know anything useful at all. <laughs> Yeah. A, cor a coroner was ordered to come and officially review the scene, but he's running a bit late. He should have been here when you arrived. Uh, perhaps the body drifted downstream to this spot. Rain has been known to straighten the current of these uh, r runoffs. It could have been just been a simple accident. That's what my intuition tells me, anyhow. You don't have a good intuition. <laughs> Could it really have been just a simple accident? I ought to get a closer look to a body before I start drawing any conclusions. Utsugi's busy speaking with someone. Would it be alright if I inspected the body? I apologize. We can't allow anyone near the body until the coroner, or coroner arrives. However, we've cleared you access to the investigate the area where the body was found. <coughs> uh, I gotta go there. Place found. This is where the girl was found, apparently. Piles of garbage have accumulated along the banks. It'll take forever to sort through this mess. So he goes back. Find anything? Uh, the corner seems to be delayed. He shouldn't be much longer. So let's uh, think again. Maybe I should have another look. And that's where you go again. Uzi goes down and takes another look at the riverbank. After sifting through the mess for a while, Uzi discovers a notebook of some kind. So now we have the option to take. Take the notebook. Uzi reaches into the muck and takes the notebook. It appears to be a high school student's. So we check the notebook. 
Hmm. There's a photo of a girl on the cover, along with a caption saying it's the property of Joko Kojima, a freshman of Uchimitsu High School. I found this notebook. Really? It must be the victim's. By all means, let the coroner have a look at it. Oh, so you're Uzi. Okay then, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. I already spoke with Mr. Utsugi about everything. Kinda pushy guy, wouldn't you say? Heh. <laughs> yeah. He is. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? There has to be some sort of clue here. Burnt, electrocuted, drowned, I've seen them all. But hey, that's why I get paid big bucks. Ha ha ha. <laughs> It'll, I'll have to see the body before I can give a statement. Time of death. I can't make a state an estimate. I haven't seen the body yet. <laughs> oh, are you scared to see the body? I had no idea a detective would be so oppress apprehensive. Ha ha ha. Yeah, there's a rooster in the background, I know. So, Mr. Talkative, what do you say we go check out the body? I'm already far behind schedule as it is. Uh... How the hell should I go there? Well, I'll see you there. Yeah, I guess now we can go. There has to be some sort of clue here. It looks like the police haven't searched the body yet. She looks completely untouched. It's the girl from the notebook! Ah, so it is. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, don't hesitate to speak up. So, you just have to check her neck, where her hair is. Her thick, wet hair is tangled all around her neck. Now you take the hair. You want to remove the hair from around her neck? Good idea, Uzi. I was just about to recommend you doing that. Sure. There, that's better. Now we check again. There's no jewelry or anything. Wait a second. What are all those marks? Hmm. She's been strangled. If that's the case, then... Was this foul play? That could be very well the case, Lucy. It certainly looks like a strangulation. We'll be opening a case on this one as soon as possible. However... At that very moment, a block curring shriek rings out from behind Uzi. Yoko! Why, Yoko? Why? <laughs> the girl gasps at the sight of the body. The man she's with isn't taking it much better, either. Oh, she's freaked out. Uh. They seem to know the victim. Maybe I should let them say what they need to say before I do anything. So let's ask. Name? Yoko! Say something! Please! She's too shocked to hear anything right now. Uh... Yeah, this is the same thing again. Ask about Yoko. Yoko! Why Yoko? Why? Uh, insights? Yoko, why? No, I don't believe it. Ah. She faints. Yo, Yoko, I can't believe this. He looks even freakier. I am, uh, was one of Yoko's teachers. My name is Tatsuya Hibino. Uh, what about insights? Uh, why does this have to happen? Yoko seems to have been murdered. 
<sighs> There's nothing I can really get from either of these two right now. They're too distraught. Mr. Hibino seems visibly shaky. He's as white as a ghost. I suppose I'll just have to let them be for now. <gasps> Usugi's calling for me. Looks like we're done here. By the way, no spoilers in the comments if you already played this game. This is the Utsugi Detective Agency. Uh, looks like we got a homicide on our hands. Sure does. I placed a time of death around 9 or 10 last night. It seems like she was moved there post-mortem. Post <coughs> a cold blood murder. What kind of person have done such a thing? <coughs> The police are doing their best, but you're my best asset right now, Lucy. I'm he I'm hereby putting you on the case. Huh? I'm confident you'll pick up the scent of the trail at the high school. Alright, so I'll be stopping here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.